What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys to give you a nape update, and we're going to also do a length check, but first, let me say I'm going to challenge myself. So, I guess I'm going to call this video nape challenge or whatever. So, I'm going to be challenging myself because I ain't got nobody to race with or compete with or whatever, so I'm just going to challenge myself, and we're going to take this challenge for about, it's probably going to give me about six months to see any significant growth or any growth at all in this nape area here this is one of my big problem areas um it's, it's, it's probably a lot of people big problem areas because it's a very sensitive area. It's around your hairline. Most sensitive areas in people's hair are around this whole thing here. From the edges to the nape. Because whether you know it or not, this is edges too. But it's just in the back. So um, you have to be very careful with that area in this area of your head. Because it's the most fragilist yeah, hair on your head. So anyway, child. Okay, so the first thing first. I'm going to show you guys my nape area I tried to pull as much hair as I could down because there's actually some more up there that is short compared to you know the length of my other hair and um, we just gonna work I'm just gonna work on it as a whole from like here to here and well I'm gonna work on my whole head but I'm gonna pay close attention to like this area right here right here so um what I'm going to do is keep it clean first and foremost keep that area clean deep condition keep that that's the first step second step what you want to do is make sure you rinse your hair in your back area properly a lot of times people rinse their hair out in the sink especially if you wash your head in the sink like I do I prefer to wash my head in the kitchen sink and I hold my head down a lot of times people tend to not take that hold their head down far enough in the sink or put the water back far enough in the, on the nape of their hair and get that shampoo or residue or relaxer or whatever you got in the back of your neck get it off okay okay so now we're gonna rinse our hair properly especially if you wash your hair in the sink if you wash your hair in the shower then you should be good but make sure you get it just get all your product out of your hair okay moisturize and seal your hair daily now these rules apply to just your, your nape and your overall head of hair I don't know why I'm waving but hey whatever <laughs> um the let me see I wrote these things down so y'all see me looking and I said moisturize and seal right okay make sure you put little or no tension on your nape area if at all possible as less tension as you can get you know I know you're gonna have to have it in a protective style of some sort in order for it to grow so you can leave it alone so you're gonna have to put slight tension on it but do not make it like too tight okay okay the fifth thing you're going to do is cover and protect your hair it is very important that you cover and protect your hair every single day every single night whenever you in your chair your favorite couch your favorite position in the bed if you like to sit up on a bed on a bunch of pillows and watch TV like I do well I don't be watching TV but I be sitting up in my bed with a bunch of pillows propped behind me and keep me up at that time if you do something like that always wear your bonnet always wear your satin scarf your silk scarf your satin bonnet like which i sell the bonnets y'all look at the link look at the link in the description box below i have my own website where i do sell and make my own satin bonnets they are very good to protect your hair um if you do uh sit up in the bed like i do and lounge around the house because i don't have a job so if you lounge around a lot sit in the sofa a lot sit in your recliner a lot sit in your bed a lot have your you know your neck propped up like back here i always be sitting around like that so at those times always protect your hair always wear satin something satin bonnet satin scarf whatever make sure you got a satin pillowcase either either one will work you know either one will work do not have your head rested up and brushing all on no cotton like like i got this loose now if you got your hair loose and rubbing all over everything it it's not gonna do so well you know i'm not gonna say it's gonna do bad but it's not gonna do great okay and the last thing you want to do is just oh, well that is the last thing keep your hair off of your clothes like my hair ain't long enough too much to reach my clothes but if it was keep it off of there because that's right there 
it's gonna be like okay my hair growing and it's breaking off so I can't see the growth but it's because my shirt is always touching my shoulders so it, you want to keep your hair pulled up away from your body so it can do what it does okay especially your ends this is what you're trying to protect these ends right here you want to protect these ends so keeping this hair pulled up I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a lymph check in a second I'm gonna take this shirt off let me take this shirt off and um put on my lymph check shirt hold on Okay, y'all, so I have on my Lymph Check t-shirt, I'm going to pull it down and around and make sure it's where it's supposed to be on my body lined up. So I'm going to turn around and show you guys. I'm probably not even on a number right now, but I'm going to turn around and let you guys see. And I'm going to also take pictures so that way when I come back and report to you guys if my nape has grown or not, um, you will see the difference, okay? Am I even on a number, y'all? <laughs> okay, so... That's just me with my hair. I'm not pulling it in any kind of way, so I'm pretty sure my hair is short enough to be not even on a number. Let me see. I can't tell. Is it on a number? Oh, it might be on a number, man. Oh, wait. I'm, I'm holding my head back. Okay, I'm going to hold my head perfectly still. Then I write the number down when I um edit the video. When I edit the video, I write the number down. So, I'm going to... I'm holding my head perfectly still, so I I want to pull it because I don't want to pull it. I'm just going to do it on freshly relax out. I don't want to pull it because I don't want it to be like a lie or something, like when I come and watch the next video, when I do my comparison video. So that's where my hair is now. I'm going to take a picture. Hold on. Let me take a picture. Okay, so at my next update, you guys are going to see the comparison. And I'm going to say, I'm going to give it six months. I will give it three months, but three months is really, really, really not long enough. But I will check it. We're going to check the length of it again in three months. I'm we gonna I'm going to keep you guys updated um, regularly, but I'm not going to do a length check again. I'm not going to put on this shirt again until three months from today. Okay, and today is July girl i don't know let me pull this hair down and show you guys the difference in you know when i compare this with this you see uh, the nape hair is most definitely broken off but i remember i had grew the back before i was so sad but hey you gotta start i gotta start over hey it is what it is it is what it is y'all so um just coming to show you guys, give you guys an update on my nape hair. I will be back to update you guys in, I don't know, randomly I'll be putting nape hair videos up. So stay tuned to my channel if you want information on how to grow your nape and what I've been doing. So you guys won't get to the end uh, when my nape do grow because it's going to grow. And then y'all going to be like, how you did it? Stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to keep you updated every step of the way, okay? Thank you guys for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.